Hello my dear friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Barbara and today we're going to be looking at Vertex in the sign of Scorpio. So this video is for you if you do have this placement. If you're a cross watcher, welcome as well. The Vertex in a natal chart deals with faded events, okay? So they're faded events, faded meetings, people that you're going to meet that are going to transform your experience. The Vertex is going to be in the fourth to the ninth house, so usually on the right hand side of your natal chart. If it's not in these houses and it's on the other side, the left-hand side, you want to bring it over to the right-hand side. So whatever the opposition is, you're just going to bring it over into the right-hand side and one of the right-hand houses. The vertex also is something that's newer in astrology. Okay, it's more recent. It's not something that they used in ancient astrology. So with that being said, you can look at it as more of an unconscious energy, okay? You're unconsciously pulling and bringing these events to you. So before we get into vertex and Scorpio, I'll tell you guys what each of the houses symbolized. So if you have vertex in the fourth house, this is faded events through family. If you have vertex in the fifth house, these are faded events through love relationships. It can also be children, okay? So either your own children or maybe you work with children, maybe you're like an elementary school teacher, something of this sort. If you have vertex in the sixth house, this is health, healing, and service. So it's either you being of service to someone, someone being of service to you. It can also deal with your day-to-day -day relationships. So like purely platonic relationships or just like random meetings that you have maybe with someone at a grocery store. If you have it in the seventh house, this deals with your love, romantic relationships. It can also sometimes be friendships as well. If you have it in the eighth house, these are your intimate relationships, but it can also be merging, okay? So merging of finances, okay, joint assets. It could also be merging of souls in terms of sexual dynamics. Finally, if you have it in the ninth house, these are long distance relationships, okay? So it can be like you travel abroad, you meet people from different cultures, you meet people from different backgrounds than you, people who speak different languages than you. It's through these experiences that you're going to have this faded event or faded encounter, okay? So Vertex and Scorpio, very intense. Scorpio is always going to be intense no matter where it is. So for you guys, your changes are, okay, depending on which group of people that bring this faded event or change to you, you're gonna go through some huge transformation regardless. So whether that's in the categories of sex, death, rebirth, the occult, to join finances, taxes, um, it can also be things like astrology, it can be things like psychology, it can be things like, who knows, maybe you meet someone and they have some sort of psychological effect on you, okay? Maybe it's like a toxic dynamic, especially let's say if you have vertex in Scorpio in the eighth house, it could be something like this, okay? Or a relationship where it's super transformational for you, brings out your shadows, brings everything to the surface, forcing you to go through some sort of transformation. That could be something that takes place, okay? It can deal with your money, okay? This, this is also a huge thing with the vertex in Scorpio. So it's joint finances, it's joint assets, so if you have Vertex in Scorpio, you can go through some sort of faded event when it comes to your joint money with somebody else, okay? So you go through some sort of transformational experience with joint finances. For example, let's say you have Vertex in Scorpio in the fourth house. So maybe there's some sort of inheritance, okay, that you get from your family line. And this now basically is going to change your life, okay? Because it's a faded event. You now have this abundance of money. Maybe now you can go and start your business with that money, whatever it is, right? So this is kind of the idea of Vertex and Scorpio. It really depends what house it's in because the house is going to tell you what type of person or group of people, okay, you are going to be experiencing the Scorpio-like faded event through. So I'm going to wrap up this quick little video here. I do hope that you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please do like, share, and subscribe. You can let me know in the comments below as well. And I hope you all have a beautiful rest of the day.